sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. I'm prophesying to the atmosphere. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. I sing holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, 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 hey. Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, hey. very simple song. spirit and I believe in the ministry of prayer. In the next five minutes without losing concentration I want you to begin to pray in the spirit open up your heart by faith pray in the spirit, pray in understanding, prepare your heart for the prayer points that are about to come. Is someone praying? Go ahead and pray. Somebody is praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. This my people, please. Can you worship team? You people have sung, eh? Let, let my people use the mic and let's pray. Maybe four or five mics. You can send it to my dear people so that we'll take some time to pray in this place tonight. 
Isaiah 54 and verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. It says, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Listen carefully. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. We are praying over the issue of supernatural protection and preservation. Are we together now? Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. I'll give you three scriptures, two more now. Luke 10, 19, please. Luke 10, 19. Behold, Koinonia, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. It says, and nothing shall by any means. Someone say by any means. Amen. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, it says, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Someone shout, say in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. That every walk of evil over my life, over my family, and all connected to me, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore I declare. Therefore I declare. That every evil. That every evil. Against my life. Against my life. I cause you by the blood of the lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door. Every closed door, be open. Every closed door, be 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, take authority over every hindrance. Over every hindrance. Stopping good things. Stopping good from things. coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Man. System. Demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. Every hindrance, every hindrance, every hindrance, every hindrance. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry or you are in any form of leadership as we pray this prayer let it be from your heart every chain every chain shout it again say every chain every chain tying down my advancement tying down my advancement tying down my progress tying down my progress by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost break now break now break now go ahead and pray every chain in the name of jesus be broken be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over the works of my hands. Over the works of my hands. And over all connected to me. And over all connected to me. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. I declare. I declare. Access is broken now. Go ahead and pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer requests, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down 
and I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came. Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Someone say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. That the spirit and the forces responsible for my tears, I declare judgment upon you. Now, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my assignment. Rest upon me now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The grace assigned. The mantle assigned for your destiny. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Hmm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life. Everything that left my life. By demonic orchestrations. By demonic orchestration. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 Everything. Everything, everything. Restore, restore, restore years, restore things, restore years, restore things. In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people... I got without exaggeration probably thousands of text messages saying apostle thank you so much that message i shall not die it just destroyed you cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death fear of death he says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage 
Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death, may the Lord judge you right now. Open your mouth and pray. I have no covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with the grave. Someone pray. No covenant with death. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Many of you will be surprised as you see answers to this prayer begin to come into your life. There is a God that answers prayers. He says there shall be no more infant of days. You see, when you see things going wrong in your life, you have a responsibility to identify it based on the will of God, not based on emotions. The basis for everything we do. Listen, I have taught you that the, the administration of the power of God is within the jurisdiction of the will of God. The power of God does not act outside of the will of God. Are we together? The ability, the assignment, the mandate upon the power of God is to restore all things to be consistent with the will of God. Hallelujah. So when the power of God comes upon a person, it works only with respect to the will of God. This is the confidence upon which we can release God's word and expect it to work. Because when the word of God, listen, the word of God works like a drug. When a doctor gives you a pill or a set of pill to swallow, you don't have to tell the pill where to go to. Already designed, are we together now? It knows where to go and find the entire pharmacology of the drug. It was designed to identify. There is a way it works in your body. For some of you, the moment you swallow the drug, it will demand that you are asleep for it to really work. So it will just hibernate your body and force you to sleep. And then you wake up with a sigh of relief. Hallelujah. When the power of God comes into your life, it does not know you as a person. It only knows the will of God. Or what is not the will of God and the assignment of the power of God is to start scanning your life no this this growth here is inconsistent with the will of God that becomes the ministry right there hallelujah so don't just fall down and stand up for nothing don't just shout and scream for nothing no understand what the power of God is doing in your life oh my help has come Oh, 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 my help has come. Oh, 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 oh my lifting has come. Ah. Oh, 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 Rise up on your feet. Shall I take a paratus? In the next five minutes, 
we are going to pray in the spirit please be serious take the time to pray generate energy in the spirit we are praying under a corporate anointing lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit shake it he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the hallelujah are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse two many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, I just shoot for me my glory the lifter up of my head in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison and the Bible says they kept him in prison intending that after Easter they would bring him out so that the people would kill him verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. 
that kept the prison verse 7 the bible says and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10 hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of man it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrease in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. 
Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, For thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall thrive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant i am in covenant i am in covenant with the stone i am in covenant I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse sixteen. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, 
by all means lift your voice and say lord by all means give me peace 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 by all means, give me peace. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving, but in the realm of the Spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4. I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5. And strangers. This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen. This scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of alien are coming to bless me. Help prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray?
we are going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. Hallelujah. Now listen. Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews. And he was clearly cooperating with Vashti. And God needed to remove Vashti. And when God brought Esther, Esther forgot her assignment. And she was enjoying the palace. And Mordecai sent a warning. That warning is for all of us. Every time you hear trouble somewhere, don't say it's still far. Don't make the mistake of Esther. Mordecai said, do not think when they are done with us from afar, you will be spared. The moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere, you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell. Don't just say, I am secured. Esther knew that if she kept quiet, one day they would discover she were a Jew and they would kill her. And she took the risk. I'm going to meet the king. Even without his invitation, if I perish, I perish. One of the things I'm praying and trusting that God will do to the body of Christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic, just because you are okay, just because you have security forces around your house, does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help. As responsible believers, part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say, no, Lord, it cannot happen, not in our lifetime. This kind of evil that plagued the nations, we must stand as priests. Are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we're going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees over our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus Everywhere the 
helpers of your destiny are men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God, you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we're wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, what has refused to walk in your hands? Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go, Go back and watch wonders happen. In the name of Jesus Christ.
and whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now Strange encounters, revelations of heaven, receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every word go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you 
reward you. Recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helper. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a way to fight battles without rewards. David said, What shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny helpers and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what He is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within His power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessing. Prepared blessing. Prepared tarush salata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men 
you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of His presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me, whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice. The grace and the wings of the Spirit that will take you to dimensions untold. May that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here. The errands and the horse that will hold your hands. Loyal men indeed. May God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life May you be a wonder first to yourself, and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death, to see to it that you will not finish this year well, to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. The hands that came and met the woman and said, It's all well. It's all well with your household. I pray for you. Because the Bible says, To say to the righteous, it shall be well. Therefore, I speak over you, it is well. I declare over you, all is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. For all of you who have traveled from far, whether from another nation, right down here, from another city, right down here, you will go back with strange testimony. You will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here. In the name of Jesus. People of God, I am not just coming to do a man of God's thing. No, I am sent. There is a mandate and there is an assignment. And it's an honor to bring this light that came from heaven to the plateau. The light that will ignite men. The light 
that will call men into supernatural dimensions of ministry aside from the healings and the miracles hear me that light that came from his majesty hear me there are people in this place this night there will be wells of the prophetic that will be opened afresh again some of you have seen this day in your dreams some of you have seen it in visions for some of you it's not new you know what i'm saying god already showed you that one day you will be standing face to face with destiny please wherever you are lift your voice in one minute cry from the depth of your heart let this be my night of visitation lift your voice and pray just you will never be the same the church on the plateau you will never be the same i bring you grace from the throne i bring you fire from his majesty Are you praying? Forget about what is happening. Focus on Jesus. Pastors, pray. Pray for your ministry. Prayer warriors, pray. Women in ministry, pray. Business people, pray. Politicians, pray. There is a visitation upon the plateau. hallelujah now please listen to me please listen to me we're about to pray as i came in i came in a bit late and as i sat here i saw standing just at that screen there was a large angel standing there right here standing there and i saw them holding vials of oil and i knew immediately i knew the significance of what i was seeing and i'm praying because the spirit of God and the angelic there are impartations the front is filled you don't have to bring people out again please just help them wherever you are in one minute wherever you are I like you to pray every grace that you know that is available that you need for your life for business for ministry please lift your voice and pray call it by faith call it by faith Call it by faith. Your ministry is about to step into a new level. I assure you, it won't be ministry as usual. The God of miracles your business your spiritual life there are many of you God is calling you a new order of prayer and intercession a new order of fastings new dimensions of revelation new levels of the prophetic Don't be tired of praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please let me have your attention. May I request respectfully speaking. Reverend Akila. If we can have seven of the pastors and the leaders. Just seven as you would select. I want them to come and stand with me prophetically here. We are going to pray over the church on the plateau. 
in unity and we're going to say lord let this be a new season we're standing prophetically okay please seven at least let there be one woman if it's possible please who represents the gates we are going to pray something must happen in this land all of you don't keep watching just keep praying we are praying for plateau forget about the sick forget about all of this we are praying it's a new season we are going to stand in unity regardless of doctrinal differences regardless of the challenges we have here and there there are too small a reason hear me plateau there is much that god wants to do divided we truly fall it is in unity that we stand the days of celebrity christianity is over we must stand as one people in the name of jesus and lift up that banner of the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now watch this hold on please this is what we are going to do everyone inside the overflow those following from whatever nation we are going to pray for a global audience but for now the attention is on the plateau god's own state a state he has so exalted yet to come into its prophetic destiny but we are standing as servants of God to say no longer will it remain a prophetic word far there. We have come to give it life that it starts from now. Some of you have seen it. You have prophesied it in your churches and your groups. That a day will come when God will move this way. We cannot prolong anymore. It's time to fulfill prophecy. Some of our fathers prophesied it on the plateau and went to be with the Lord without seeing it. Let it happen in our lifetime. Maranatha come hallelujah now this is what will happen I will just allow one or two of our fathers to just pray and make decrees on behalf of all of us and then we will stand in unity and speak over the church in plateau tearing down the walls of divide tearing down the walls of spiritual unseriousness and we are going to pray that the fire from heaven will fall upon the church in plateau that on the streets in businesses in government in parliament from the government house to every ministry every parastatal let there be an invasion of the life and the power of jesus we have to pray for the destiny of our children we cannot lose the children in plateau to drugs we cannot lose the children in plateau to violence and all kinds of occultism it's time to take back what God has given to us. Are you in agreement? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus. Oh, city of Jaws. Oh, plateau. The sons of the strangers devour you no more. Desecrate you no more. Oh, city of Jaws. Oh, Plateau. Take your place once again. Take your place once again. Let revival break forth from the city of Jaws to the nations of the world. Do it, Jehovah. Do it, Jehovah. Do it, Jehovah. Watch over your word. And perform your word. Amen. Plateau. The land of hills. And valleys and standing waters. Your enemies. Will never. Sit on you anymore. Your enemies will never take your lands anymore. Your enemies will never laugh at you anymore. The destinies that have been trapped on the land of Plato 
shall be set free. God Almighty is going to set us free. Plateau shall be free. The name of Plateau shall be heard all over the world. The children of Plateau will be performers of miracles and wonders because the God of Israel is with us. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Now, we're, we're conserving time, but it's an honor to stand with a few of the representatives, the ministers, fathers, veterans in the gospel. Now, please listen very carefully. I want to make this decree in the name of the Lord. I stand here only by the election of grace, but I want us to believe as we make these declarations. Hallelujah. Father, we declare standing in faith as the church upon the plateau let the days of fighting and division come to an end now let the days of ill speakings tearing down one another based on tribal sentiments let it come to an end now in the name of jesus We stand in faith and corporately as a church we repent of anything that is giving Satan legal access over the plateau we plead the blood of Jesus on the plateau we plead the blood of Jesus over every altar that is speaking against the destiny of plateau state let mercy triumph over judgment for the Bible declares, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways, it says I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and heal their lands. We declare blood to be healed in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord yield your increase to the inhabitants of this state all of the over 17 local governments I hope I'm right we declare let revival fire from this point spread all through in the name of Jesus every local government may God raise men and women of fire we pray for all the churches we pray for all the prayer groups all the mission agencies all the platforms that lift up the name of jesus fresh impartation upon them we are still praying we pray for the government and all the politicians here represented we pray for our traditional rulers in the name of jesus may they be advised by right people every council of Ahitophel we conquer we come against it in the name of Jesus father the spirit of untimely death that is eating people up on the plateau in the name of Jesus we banish that spirit forever the spirit of poverty and hardship eating up the destinies of people regardless of their education regardless their exposure we declare that that spirit comes under judgment in the name of jesus father once again let mantles return to the plateau once again let apostles rise from the plateau once again let evangelists rise from the plateau once again let prophets rise from the plateau hear me whoever has vowed that over his dead body for plateau to rise i command the earth to open and swallow them i'm saying it by the apostolic and the prophetic any human agent in fraternity with darkness that has vowed that this state will not rise we release a sword of judgment let the earth open and swallow them father let the gospel of jesus christ not die on the plateau 
in the name of Jesus as our fathers who have gone ahead of us some of them have died some of them have a few more years they are wrapping up their stay Lord raise younger people let there be succession let there be transference of graces raise younger people younger evangelists people of integrity people of character people of fire in the name of Jesus now listen the national anthem of Nigeria says that the labor of our heroes past should not be in vain it's not just a political statement it is also a spiritual statement let it not be that the labor over the gospel in this land Plato has survived so much and Africa as a continent has survived so much therefore we make decree Lord remember the blood of those who have died for the gospel remember the blood of those who were killed serving you remember the blood of the Matthias on this land because you are a covenant keeping God let their blood not be in vain in the name of Jesus we command greater dimensions of development on the plateau we command jobs for our young people in the name of Jesus I pray for the businessmen on the plateau may the grace of God rest upon you in the name of Jesus there are three spirits that I'm trusting will, will crush out of the plateau number one is the spirit of drunkenness number two listen to me I'm saying this respectfully the spirit of irresponsibility among young people and number three the spirit of lateness is a cost to do things too late are we together 40 years 50 years still in your father's house 60 years still not established in the name of Jesus let the spirit of drunkenness drugs and all kinds of ills and vices we banish it from the plateau in the name of Jesus number two the spirit that makes young people to not be responsible in the name of Jesus we command that spirit out of our territory and number three we pray some of our parents in their 20s were already doing exploits in ministry and in business there were people who were heads of state in this nation in their early 30s there is no the spirit of lateness a snail-like achievement please men and women of God let's take this prayer request back to our altars and let us pray it it must leave the plateau again we declare the spirit of lateness in this city we banish you forever and in the name of Jesus the same way we are standing here by faith we make a declaration anybody who will divide the church anybody who will bring enmity among the church we banish them from this city in the name of Jesus please listen to me the days of church fighting church pastor fighting pastor we have agreed that there are many people who need to grow we have agreed that we are not at the same spiritual level but let me tell you be patient and allow people grow are we together now when you see something wrong with your fellow man of God pray for them support them you hear that armed robbers came to steal from a church don't rejoice and clap and say it didn't come to my church don't make the mistake of Esther Mordecai gave her a warning and said don't you think if they finish with the Jews you will be spared she wanted to make the mistake of Vashti we are the body of Christ the pain of one is the pain of everyone if only one church is growing and the rest are suffering it is a it is a loss to everybody no single church 
no matter how accurate, has the ability to single-handedly bring the global harvest. It will be a corporate activity. So whether you have 10 members or 2,000 members or 1,000 members, we must have mutual honor to ourselves. Do not disregard those producing results. They are not producing results by mistake. Honor them for the results they command. Do not downplay the fathers. They deserve their honor. Don't say this is orthodox. This is Pentecostal. Pentecostal charismatics, be careful. Let's stop insulting our fathers in what we call the orthodox churches. They may not be filled with the Holy Ghost as you know. They may not bring revelation but there is wisdom. They have lasted more than many young people. Respect them for what they have. Don't go around using revelation and anointing to insult the fathers. Some of these men have labored for the gospel. They may not be able to speak well but they deserve our honor. And hear me, if you have gone ahead to offend any father of faith here, go and look for him and apologize. We are not acting this thing. If it's real revival we are looking for, these are the steps that lead to Bible-based apostolic revival. Are we together? Let me challenge everyone not to demean you, but congregations, please pray for your men of God. Please respect everyone who names the name of Christ, carrying the gospel. Every man or woman, heads of mission agencies, heads of churches, you have no idea on the attack that the average man faces. All of these servants of God will tell you, some of them the attack is on their children. Some of them the attack is on their health. While you are sleeping, your pastor is awake praying. While you are eating, he is fasting. We must banish sarcasm from the plateau. If you hear that a man of God is sick and is in jute, don't celebrate and say, I, I always didn't like him. You should rush there, whether you are a church member or not. I hear you are a minister of the gospel and you are not feeling fine. I may not know you, but on behalf of me and my wife, let me pay for the bill. Let me tell you this. If we carry this spirit, there will be no room for the devil to destroy us here. And let me say this finally. I apologize for keeping you here, sirs. For those of us that God has trusted with a bit of revelation, look up. There is a word of caution. Knowledge can puff up. For some of us who are opening to a bit of visions, a bit of prophecy, a bit of miracles, we are usually the ones who go around with our small world insulting people and mentoring young people to tear down others. Don't do that. Let the abundance of knowledge not bring pride. Let it bring humility and submission. So be cautioned. Prayer groups, different para ministry agencies do not sit down tearing down people no don't do that if god opens your eyes and you see dimensions that a church should be entering into and they are not yet entering into go on your knees and pray for them god open their eyes to see that light do not teach the young people to rebel rebellion does not bring glory to god it was that scene of rebellion and treason that threw Lucifer from heaven to where he is. Let us not make that mistake. Lucifer has taught us that lesson already. Hallelujah. Again we declare, the church on the plateau is united. This is what I want you to do. After this conference, I'd like you to use your social media handles and say a united plateau. Not just politically, but even spiritually. Write it. This conference, I permit you to do it now. We are advocating a united plateau. Regardless church, whatever it is, we stand in unity in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your... Can you sing it for me? Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls 
of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace we declare this prayer over plateau in the presence of the servants of god and in the presence of god's people let this dream and this prophetic word come to pass in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ god bless you sirs thank you let's honor them someone please stand to hold their hands while they go thank you sir thank you ma thank you sir god bless you god bless you are you tired praise the name of the lord can you lend me 10 minutes do i have 10 minutes with you so that we'll pray if I don't have a chance to pray for the sick and we stop here, I still feel fulfilled. Because God has done something that is more prophetic than you see. Praise the name of the Lord. But I need to at least pray for the sick. This is our last session. We may not take testimonies, but let's declare over the sick. And then we're about to pray for the requests. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the time you now pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, everything I have written here, in the name of Jesus, I wave it goodbye forever. Water you turn into wine. Help me. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Pray. None like you. None like you. Into the darkness, say. Into the darkness we shine Out of the ashes Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's no one like you like Celebrate Jesus Our God is greater Our God is greater Our God is stronger Our God is stronger the name of the Lord now no matter how we minister to people we see in parts but this is the most accurate representation of everyone's desire here if there are still people bringing it we have just a few seconds please do it quickly I'm not standing here as one who is better than anyone by any means not at all it is a privilege of the election of grace but hear me I dare to tell you that I have a covenant of answered prayer with God. The Lord left me a covenant. And this is why we do what we're doing. I assure you in the name of the Lord. That if God be God. Everything you drop here. If it's to live your life. It must live your life. If it's to come into your life. It must come into your life. In the next one minute. Wherever you are. Stretch your hands to this request. And begin to pray. Father the end comes. The end comes. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shake a pacata barato sicata. Scata barata cata pradegatias. Lecate prosco to parutasia. Miracle, so God. Miracle, so God. Shepa cata pacato pradoco to patia. In the name of Jesus. Scata baroto soto barata. Turn impossible situations around. And if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, 
that no could ever stop us. And if our God is with us, then what can stand? And if our God, if our God is for us, and if our God, if our God, if our God, if our God, arise, O God, in your power. Arise in your majesty. Walk miracles in the life of your people. And if our God is with us, then what can stand? And if our God. Hallelujah. Please agree with me. I want you to agree with me as I pray with a loud amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every impossible situation represented here we turn it into a testimony now we turn them into testimonies now every barren situation receives an answer from heaven now every terminal disease receives an answer from heaven now hear me in the name of Jesus prophetically I stand on this request and I declare the way I'm standing on it now every trouble that is above you I bring it under your feet now please believe it please believe it I bring it under your feet now some of you are writing this for your loved ones they are not here may the angel of the lord's presence wherever they are across this nation across the globe may their miracles follow them till it finds them hear me every request here about the salvation or the transformation of a child a husband a wife i declare the goodness of God that leads men to repentance may it follow those individuals till they are saved every spirit that is back of the tragedies represented here we banish that spirit and we command it to live forever the same way you have written these requests that is the same way you will write down their answers. Hear me. Any man in partnership with the gates of hell to see that this request do not come to pass. Tonight, we release the sword of judgment all across this city. Let me pray. For those who have written requests here, listen, we are not irresponsible people. I know that for many people, at least 50 or 60% of the prayer requests here, I know by wisdom and I know by prophecy that they have to do with finances. Is that true? Because the pandemic has dealt a great blow even to the state and to the welfare of other people. Any Christianity and any spiritual advocacy that neglects the well-being of the people is an irresponsible one whilst we are heavenly conscious whilst our attention remains over the things of the spirit we cannot be so careless as to ignore the pain that this pandemic has brought every time there was a pandemic it took prophecy to bring the territory out of financial troubles let me prophesy like elisha in the name of jesus over everyone who has gone down you've lost money in business you've lost money in investments something went wrong with your finances by the god of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation in the name of jesus hallelujah 
there are times when we have the privilege of listening to the news or talking with a few of your politicians in this city and one of the popular statements on the plateau is Bakudi. Why is this project not happening? There's no money for it. Let me tell you this. There is a mystery that made the reverend to get bread and bring to Elijah at Brook Cherith. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. By a means that we may not be able to explain, may God send financial help to the plateau. We attract investors in their tens and their hundreds. Very strategic programs that not just empower a few individuals, they will empower people from the grassroots to the highest level. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. There are still undeveloped land in this city. Am I right? There are this, it is called Plateau the Beautiful, and there are no sentiments about it. I don't know anything that does not grow here, except you don't plant it. May God raise investors, I am saying it again, who will make this place become one of the agricultural hubs of this nation and even Africa. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray wisdom upon the government. May God give them the grace and the wisdom to manage the available resources. In the name of Jesus Christ. If five loaf and two fish fed 5,000 people, then we speak to the reserves of plateau. Be multiplied to feed everyone. Be multiplied to build roads. Be multiplied to rehabilitate schools. In the name of Jesus Christ. everyone here who is in politics and governance first we salute you and we appreciate you for your courage we salute you and we appreciate you it doesn't matter what party i'm not a politician at all we salute you and we appreciate you but then we encourage you in the name of the lord and we pray that the Lord will help you, whether as commissioners, whether as the judiciary, as workers in government. In the name of Jesus, probably some of them are following, some of them are watching here. We pray for the grace and the courage to do what is right. We pray that you be governed by the fear of the Lord. We pray that you be governed by conscience. We pray that you be governed by a sense of posterity. May God grant us grace to do what our children will be proud of tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. The temptation for self-centeredness. The temptation for me, myself, and my tribesmen. In the name of Jesus, we banish, we declare grace to conquer that temptation. Plateau state is for all of us. And until we all rejoice, we are not yet there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me speak over the sick and the final impartation. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. If you are trusting God for a miracle in your body, wherever you are, please lay your hands there. You don't have to come out. You just lay your hands. Please. Lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please do well to just place your hand on your chest. I believe in miracles. Yesterday, our worship people sang, thank you. Please burn it. Please burn it. Some of the things there are private and personal, and you can do well to set them on fire. The same way it is burning, that's how every devil that stands against you will roast to death in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, there are people standing here with terminal diseases others standing here with death sentences i see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones who probably are in the hospital lord you are a miracle god a miracle worker we have thought so much about that 
right now in the name of Jesus Christ even for those of you standing I see you those standing at the overflow standing on the trucks we are seeing you I like you to believe even as we pray in the name that is above all names every spirit that is back of any infirmity we sanction you by the word of the Lord and we declare your power broken over every sick one here in Jesus name be delivered right now in the name of Jesus now I declare every infirmity every disease from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed right now in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer be healed in the name of Jesus everyone here with sickle cell anemia we change that genotype now we change that blood group now in the name of Jesus please believe it every kind of cardiovascular challenge we correct it now by the power of the Holy Ghost every kind of blindness partial blindness complete blindness be healed now in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of Jesus deafness on one or both of your ears we command them open now in the name of Jesus everyone here who is barren it doesn't matter what the reason is according to the time of life return as a joyful mother of children high blood pressure we curse you now in the name of Jesus sugar diabetes we curse you in the name of Jesus every kind of malignant growth around your body lumps around the breast area fibroids around the abdominal area we command you shrink and die now in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now in the name of Jesus cancers of all sorts ulcers of all sorts be healed now in the name of Jesus heart palpitations in the name of Jesus be healed now I'm seeing someone you get so dizzy you can't even stand in the Sun for a few minutes you begin to gasp it's like your breath is leaving you the Lord is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ was it yesterday or today the Lord healed a lady with the issue of blood I'm seeing many people having those kinds of irregularities in the name of Jesus be healed right now every kind of bone condition every kind of bone condition that has led to any sort of deformity whatsoever be corrected now in the name of Jesus and let me declare over you if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is upon and the devil is already planning that it will be said about you survived by in the name of Jesus Christ I command death to pass over you be healed in the name of Jesus whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed right now and the sickness that leaves you even after this conference this crusade may it never return to you in Jesus name for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones holding their photos lifting their faces on your phones I can see them in the name of Jesus may the power that raised Christ from the dead visit them in the hospitals bringing healing and perfect soundness in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now please open your heart for the impartation this will be my last session and we're done I believe in impartation when Saul lost his father's donkey the Bible says they could not find the donkey and all three of them 
went in search of a prophet called Samuel and then the Bible declares that when they met Samuel at the gate of the city Samuel said you go up and I will tell you what is in your heart listen as soon as Saul met Samuel three things happened number one the donkey that was missing for a very long time mysteriously found its way there is restoration with the prophetic it can restore let me speak to you everything you have lost relationships finances mantles possibilities your job by the God of heaven and here at this crusade in the name of Jesus I declare supernatural restoration hear me if you have the faith to believe I declare that 90 days from now within three months by the God of heaven like it happened when the ark of God was taken to the house of Obed Edom it was in three months God turned the life of that family around in three months may God bring supernatural restoration hallelujah now watch this Samuel told Saul that the donkey you have been looking for has been found blessing number two he said on your way returning you will meet three strangers holding two loaf of bread they will salute you that is honor and they will give to you that is favor let me speak over your life the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men in the name of Jesus Christ both honor and favor may my God allow it rest on your life now honor gives you visibility favor gives you access honor gives you visibility favor gives you access I prophesied honor gives you visibility and favor gives you access number three now you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing out whether you're an usher or not if anyone falls under the anointing just help them where they are so they don't hurt themselves it says you will come to the garrison of the philistines that when you come there a grace you did not leave home with will return with you and when they saw saul prophesying they said is Saul also one of the prophets listen to me impartation is powerful it has been abused but when the anointing is administered within the jurisdiction of balance and scripture it can work wonders in the life of the recipients I am a product of many anointings there is a grace for speed there is a grace listen I want to release that grace that in one year a man can achieve what in a decade he's not been able to achieve I pray for you I stretch my hands from my right to my left from the front to the back my God and my King and my Savior upon someone in this place help them please may the grace for speed come on you take that grace Take that grace. Take that grace. Supernatural achievements on the plateau. In the name of Jesus. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Hear me. There is a grace for favor. I call it the Esther anointing. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part it says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her Esther chapter 2 verse 17 and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins and he made her queen instead of Vashti Exodus chapter 3 verse 21 I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty 
I declare by this impartation of favor the season of emptiness in your life emptiness in your church emptiness in your business emptiness in family in career it comes to end in the name of Jesus take that anointing take that anointing take that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of Jesus Just help those under the anointing. The last prayer. Because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness. It says, therefore God, even I God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Let me tell you how it works. There is a serious prayer I want to pray for you right now. It's called the Ministry of Destiny Helpers. Listen to me. All blessings come from God through men to men. Please hold on. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who loves you matters. Do not say men do not matter. Uh -uh. All blessings. Your prayer requests, some of them written here. Some of them, they are in the hands of a man one signature help this person that's it it can change don't downplay man when you're honoring god as the king seated on the throne that's fine but with the dynamics of excelling in the cosmos you cannot ignore man and rise my life today is a product of the endorsement the advocacy of men there are four kinds of people you will always need in your life. Number one, they are called divine connectors. They cannot help you, but they know who can help you. The slave girl and the king and Naaman, she could not have the, she didn't have the power to help him, but she could take him to a prophet. The key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment. Because many times they will come in a form that you may not appreciate. Number two, you need men of influence men who have labored through their track record to become gatekeepers of industries gatekeepers of mountains one endorsement joseph i know you can interpret dreams but until pharaoh calls you you will remain in the prison the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon you need men of influence it the body of jesus christ your jesus was hanging on the cross there no prayer warriors prayer could bring it down it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea who used his influence with the government of the day to bring the body of jesus down you need men of influence as a pastor as a businessman as families number three you need gifted men gifted men will minimize wastages in your life you need men of skill david was a man of skill he didn't just kill goliath because he was anointed the benjamites historically speaking were people who had mastered the art of the sling it was said they could diverge arrows with the sling you need skillful people one skillful man their business people will save you from paying salaries of 100 people without results you need gifted people the greatest corporations in the world are full of very gifted people maximum output output that justifies the resources committed and then number four still talking of destiny helpers you need gift you need burden bearers there are people who will be in your life not for your going forward but to keep you from going backward they are called burden bearers woe betides a leader who does not have burden bearers in your dark days if you are jesus and you do not have simon of cyrene you may not get to golgotha even though you are jesus there are many leaders who have served people for years but all they had in their lives were gifted people who were taking 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 and when days came when they needed help there was nobody burden bearers are not looking for your money they are not looking for anointing their assignment is to be with you there ruth told naomi your god will be my god your people will be my people if we die we die here 
burden bearers do not stand with you alone they die with you this is a message already because I'm going to speak it over your life there are CEOs right now you had all kinds of people but when your company plunged down they left you alone where were the 5,000 people that Jesus fed when he was on the cross where were the recipients of his miracle where was the woman with the issue of blood when he was on the cross they even preferred to release a criminal there are many parents today who serve people raise people in their homes many people came from the villages they went down to university but in old age they are alone there is nobody to stand by them they are sick in the hospital and they are the mercy of doctors and nurses you need the prayer i'm praying for you so that when i declare destiny help us i'm talking of divine connectors i'm talking of men of influence i'm talking of gifted people and i'm talking of burden bearers are you ready to receive in the name of jesus these four groups of helpers i stand by the god of heaven and i declare over you especially as leaders spiritual leaders political leaders business leaders may they show up even in this season in the name of jesus may they show up in this season in the name of jesus now i pray for you there is a grace for signs and wonders there is a grace that grants you the unction to pray many of you it was not like this when you started with god but as it is your prayer life has gone down and this affects even preachers your word life your fire for god when you started it was not this way you could fast and pray but some of you the distractions of life some of you may be children i want to pray a rekindling of fire those days on the plateau they used to sing a song do not let my light go cold i'm crying out light the fire again i pray for you anyone whose spiritual life has gone down listen even if you receive money even if you receive political titles if your spiritual life is down you are not all right i pray for you fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to intercede the grace to take god serious receive it in the name of jesus the grace and the courage to edit wrong associations i decree and declare don't say we've been like that anybody who will not be a contributor to kingdom come nor the betterment of your destiny i separate you from them forever in the name of jesus christ return back with signs grace for signs and wonders return back with the grace to heal the sick return back with the grace to raise the dead return back with the grace to cast out demons i agree by faith with every man of god here the next time you climb your altar fire upon that altar evangelistic fire healing fire deliverance fire in the name of jesus praise the name of the lord